What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I kind of kind of take it easy today because it's the day before American Thanksgiving, and really don't want to get too invested in anything. So, you know, I'm not gonna say I'm mailing it in, but I figured I'd just shoot off the cuff a little bit today and make it a little less formal than usual, less formaler. Um, but uh, I want to talk a little why Ally Afraidy is one of my all-time favorite hockey players. Now, I'm sure some of the younger viewers at home have never heard of Ally Afraidy, or the ones that have known from his notorious quote that had a um, slur in there that wasn't too politically correct. But he was an amazing talent that had his career sidelined by injuries. And, you know, I think could have gone down as one of the all-time great, uh, you know, defensemen just because of the abilities he had on the ice. He was 240 pounds, one of the fastest skaters in the NHL. He had the hardest slap shot. Um, and the record that stood for 16 years until Char broke it uh, about five, six years ago. But, you know, th this guy was, he was the man. He, um, he was one of the most peculiar personalities in the history of the game. He had the mullet, had tattoos, smoked cigarettes, drank vodka, listened to heavy metal rock, and I rode a Harley. And part of it, I think it's funny, when he played for the Washington Capitals, which is where his NHL career reached his apex in 1993 with uh, 66 points in 81 games, 25 of those were goals that I'm sure were, were clap bombs, and he had six goals in six playoff games that year. Mostly just from jacking it up and, you know, reaching back with that slap shot. He hosted a once-a-week show in Baltimore called the... Uh, the power play with Ally Afraidy. And I remember reading an article, Sports Illustrated gave him a great write up, like 1992 93. Um, and if you can find it in the vault, it's there. I, I read it about once, once or twice a year just because it's, it's so compelling how interesting of a guy he was. And uh, he used to DJ and uh, host a heavy metal rock show. And again, the power play, the afternoon power play with Ally Afraidy. And uh, I remember reading that article in high school. And I was like, man, I wish I was an NHL player. Out of, a, out of my own radio show called The Power Play with CJ. And then that, that when I had the idea to come up with this, and the name stuck. So Big Al had a reason for that. Plus, Power Play with CJ sounds a little bit cooler than um, Power Play with Ally Freddy. Even though they, they both sound cool. I wouldn't say it to his face. He'd probably kick my ass. But, um, you know, he was just an amazing uh, talent that, you know, sideline by injuries at the end. He came over to the Boston Bruins in 94. You know, and, and had a good little run with them, and then had multiple knee injuries. Surfaced a couple years later in San Jose, played a total of like 60 NHL games over the next four years, and then that was it. He was out of the league at 1998 in 1998 by the age of 32. Um, but you know, the last couple years of his career, he was barely playing. I mean, he he just really, you know, was was just so banged up, and uh, you know, he, he just he was just one of the more interesting players. And you look at the background on him, came from some money in Michigan, and then. Um, Played on the 1984 U.S. Olympic team, you know, on you know that that really really young team that had guys like Pat Lafontaine, Eddie Olczyk, Chris Chelios, um, what was the other one? Uh, Jensen from, from Massachusetts. It was one of the more talented teams they ever had. Unfortunately, had shitty goals, I think, so they didn't win, um, you know, anything. But that's you know neither here nor there. And uh, you know, went right from there. Played, I think, like. 13 games for the Belleville Bulls, was a high pick by the Toronto Maple Leafs, jumped right to the NHL after that. And, you know, I think it was just so so much so fast for him that, you know, it was uh, an interesting dynamic and, you know, someone that uh, you know, probably could have been benefited by, you know, a little more minor league seasoning. I mean, he went right from the Midgets to the U.S. Olympic team, you know, 14 games in the OHL, Toronto Maple Leafs. I mean, it's like, Jesus, you know, they, talk about living in fast forward. Uh but, you know, again, one of the more interesting guys that ever ever suited up and a guy that, um, you know, I think would have been very, very interesting if he played during the era of 24-hour uh, social media because he, uh, he, was, he was something. So, anyway, that's all I got this episode of The Power Play with CJ on why Ally Afraidy is one of my all-time favorite players. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.